Regular viewers know it's implied on this channel that I hate axes and heretical hatchets, the devil's wicked woodwhacker, whatever it is you kids call them these days. I think they're a new, unproven way to break pieces of wood apart, and I'd rather have nothing to do with them. Just give me a case of bush light, a good slip joint any day of the week, and I'll baton and chop through wood like my grandfather and his stupid grandfather before him. However, a subscriber contacted me and said he'd trade me a blade I reviewed for a Grant's First Brook wildlife hatchet, and since I know those are expensive and I don't have any reviewed on the channel, I did the sign of the cross, accepted, guzzled another beer, and threw on my cold steel hat for another layer of protection against evil. And if you mention, that's contradictory because cold steel makes quite a few axes, and I'd say, well, it's a religion, isn't it? Forgive me. And while the few jerks below try and explain to me that traditionally axes are in fact used to fell trees, chop firewood, throw in at targets, on Instagram in slow motion to prove alphaness, split logs, murder teenagers doing it, and the subject of half of Wrangler Star's videos, let's look at the dimensions and we're kind of going to have to wing this because I don't really know what to measure on an axe. I'm probably going to measure too many things, like the tallness and weight with and without the sheath. I guess you could call it overall length if it makes you feel any better. The cutting edge and a few other measurements of the head. I hope I'm doing all this right. And last time I made a Wrangler star joke, someone asked me what he ever did to me. Nothing. Nothing at all. And how about some spine and handle thickness parts? However, if he makes a lot of videos about axes, then that's kind of a true statement. Just like if someone were to muse that these are just more a collection of crappy knife jokes, and not real reviews. Well, I guess that would be an accurate statement if this wasn't an axe review. However, objectively speaking, though, is a 12 minute Lynn Thompson joke dumber than an asshole who sits through an entire video he completely hates? Come on, the music didn't even start till after the Bowie joke, okay? So let's take a look at the descriptions on the Wildlife Hatchets official product page. Product pages, of course, are where knife reviewers get three quarters of their video's content. Then you add some likes and ums and bingo, you're at 15 minutes. But it says the wildlife hatchet is a traditional scouting and camping axe with the same head as their hand hatchet, but on a longer handle. The smaller handled hand hatchet is actually 15 bucks more on Amazon. I guess that's because, you know, the whole less is more. Cue someone below talking about how smaller handles on axes are actually harder and more expensive to make. Now you may know by now that I have one other hatchet or hand axe and that's the S-Wing Sportsman's Axe, which is a one-piece construction. That means the head and handle are all the same part, in case you're stupid. I also own two 26-inch axes. They're like boys axes, those style. And this one and the Holtzbrook were probably the sharpest, as in knife sharp. This one also has one of the thinner bits and the cheeks having a concave appearance. It's light in the hand. It can be used for things like carving, chopping, and general axing of things as everyone's axe needs are a little different. I mostly do yard work and don't fell trees. Against my better judgment, I decided to peruse some of the axe talk on blade forums. And the gist of the stuff I read is that Gransfers are for stupid hipsters who don't do real work and need axes that are easy to sharpen. Any axe bro knows you'd buy a vintage American axe if you want to get some real alpha work done. However, the 201 reviews from betas on Amazon with an average of four and a half stars generally love it. Now, Gransfers uses their own steel in the axes, which they say on their website is made from 100% recycled steel from a Swedish company called Ovaco. Ovaco? Uvaku. I found a post on Blade Forums where some dude quoted someone else from another forum, you know, like I'm doing here. But in 2012, and it says the steel is sort of close to EN9 or 1055 with a 0.55% carbon content. So let's just trust that as 100% accurate. I can't actually follow the link because it's broken. And, you know, people don't make things up on the internet. The handle. Now, the dude who sent it to me wrapped the handle with some paracord to prevent handle damage from overstrikes. And that's fine with me because I'm an idiot with terrible aim, as real outdoor expert internet trolls will point out from time to time. There must be some sort of thrill posting under videos about how much better you are at the things the person is doing in the video. Oh, okay, you're better at hitting wood with sharp things. However, not everyone who meets me wants to instantly punch me. I have a decent 10 to 3 ratio, the 3 being the people who want to punch me. Anyway, I like it, and I'm going to leave it. The handle isn't super thick in the grip area, but has a nice swell 
at the bottom so when you swing it doesn't fly out of your hand and into your camera then you wouldn't get these great videos of course let me warn you though one shitty outdoor channel stops posting like this one and another 15 will pop up in my place my s-wing doesn't quite have the big swell at the bottom the handle is made from hickory and according to Gransfer's Brooks website, soaked in hot, sexy linseed oil. The sheath. It's all right. It protects your shit from the blade, mainly if you carry it in your purse, diaper bag, or briefcase. You might could scratch the side of the axe with the snap as you put it in if you're not careful. But don't worry about the rivets in the front because there's a piece of leather inside where the edge sits to keep the blade's edge from dinging those metal rivets. Rough on the inside, smooth on the outside. It'd be nice if it had a belt loop, but it don't. Who doesn't like carrying an axe on the belt? Oh, okay, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of hands. Okay, never mind. Comparisons. I like the feel of this in the hand more than my S-Wing. I ain't gonna lie. Why would I lie? It feels sure and less fatiguing, probably because it's 200 grams lighter. You know, 200 grams-ish. I like the S-Wing, don't get me wrong, but I have to ask myself, should I have really just made that joke? Time will tell how easier the Gransfers is to sharpen and how well it holds up. This one does tend to get stuck in the wood a little bit more. The S-Wing has a slightly fatter convex edge. I also have a Holtz Brook and a Council Tools with two and a quarter pound heads on them. I've had a lot of this review shot for months now, but I still haven't edited it yet. I really don't have any appropriate trees to chop down. Sorry, fell. I guess I could go to a neighbor's yard. I chopped a lot of wood with it though. The Council Tools is only 40 bucks, however it doesn't come with a sheath and it was very dull out of the box. Sharpening an axe plus a sheath brings it up to probably 70 or 80 bucks. The Holtz had a nice sheath and it was sharp out of the box with a treated handle. And finally, what you've been waiting for, the Z-Tools. This is a gift from Nick Shabazz because the man knows what I like. Not only is it an axe, but it's axe knuckles. Look at that, yeah, sweet. Hopefully I'll get to reviewing this soon. Anyway, let's do a little more chopping. I actually prefer larger choppers like my zombie tools to my hand axes. They have a longer edge, so if I suck at targeting, because I do, because I'm not a real man, it's more forgiving. The grants first seem to hold an edge well through my chopping adventures. Did lots of it. I think I'll wind up using it more than my S-Wing. Not as much as my, you know, zombie tools. I've gotten so used to batoning for kindling that hand axes aren't as preferred for breaking up limbs. If you like this sort of review, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, donate to the Patreon if you'd like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.